Johnny Barrero is about to get this match started. Oakley are going to the golf course end in the first half in their white away kit, blue shorts and blue socks. And the Bentley Greens are going to the centre down and on road end in their all green home kit. And Pachkowski. And now through ball, looking for the dash of Wayne Wallace. It's Wallace with a shooting channel! Hits the inside of the post and it deflects across the goal line and out. Ibrahim cuts it back to the top of the area. Holmes. And now Ibrahim. Swinging across in, and no one to meet it. We've got a Bentley player down. It's Wallace. And good hold from Honos. Had his legs taken out from under him, but he's not spending any time on the ground. He's seen the opportunity for a counter-attack. Rolling the ball out to Rizk. And now Anthony Rizk getting forward. Crossfield pass is a beaut. And now bouncing into the path of Hatsumaratis from the tight angle. And it's hit the post again. Follow up and blocked away by Scott. Both sides have hit the woodwork now. And Hatsumaratis denied. And he does have an exceptional strike rate scoring from them. Oakley setting five in the wall, then two Bentley players, then another in the wall as Ruthven curls it just wide. And, well, the crowd were going up, but they couldn't ride it in. It just dipped wide. And Ruthven off a short run up there, had Honos flying, couldn't get the ball in. And now an opportunity for Collard. Plays it to Stratomitros. He's loading up a shot, and it's across the face. Always heading wide. Goalkeeper. Didn't raise the arms as it goes out for a goal kick. Stay with play here. Long ball over to the right side. Zorich ducking and weaving. Cutting the ball back. Bosniak! And a good save by Scott. Getting down to his left and batting the ball away. And Dusan Bosniak perhaps had the goal at his mercy there. Tried one flick past Pandelitis. Blocked the ball down. And now Abdallah Rakud comes away with the ball. Rakud, left-footed pass. Curling perfectly into the path of Hatsumaratis. Trying to control the ball. And it just wouldn't sit for him. Scott came out. Blocked it away for a corner. And Dimi Hatsumaratis. It was just bobbling and bouncing along. It would not sit up for a strike. And in the end, the goalkeeper intervened. Ball spills. Bosniak just outside the area on the left. Now teeing up Goran Zorich, he keeps it moving, one more pass, Hatsumaratis, clean off the line, tap in for Piemonte! Oakley Cannons take the lead, and just like the last time they played here at Kingston Heath, the opening goal goes to Dean Piemonte! And like I said earlier, uh, it, earlier on Teo, Dean Piemonte loves scoring against his old club and today is no different. Knock to the face. He's down at the edge of the box, but Bentley want to keep attacking. Dover's ball in. Holmes with the header! And Tyson Holmes brings Bentley Green's level! Wallace was lying injured, but out of the debris, Holmes rose highest and headed in the cross. It's 1-1. Tyson Holmes has the equaliser for the Bentley Greens. And we will go into the rooms 1-1. Wilson Brown at halftime if Dushan Bosniak scores from this free kick. Ryan Scott waits, big Bentley wall, Bosniak, and it's saved by Scott, tipping the ball over the bar, and in the seventh, almost the eighth minute of stoppage time at the end of the first half, Ross Archibald returns to the pitch, and Oakley Cannons have a corner. For Piermonte, being wrestled by Ruthven at the byline, and plays the ball into touch and, and out. there we go. And that's half time. We ended up playing seven and a half minutes of stoppage time at the end of the first half, and it's 1-1 between the Oakley Cannons and Bentley Greens. Welcome back to the second half of live action, PlayStation 4 NPL Victoria semi-final. Bentley Greens won, Oakley Cannons won. We've just got underway here at Kingston Heath to restart the action. Dimitros and Dushan Bosniak, and then the front three, Piemonte, Zorich, and now here's Bosniak through the right side, save, no, in it goes! Dushan Bosniak with the power to beat Scott! And the Oakley Cannon strike at the start of the second half in just the 48th minute. Bosniak has put Oakley into the lead, and it's an all-in celebration over on the Oakley bench. The shot from the tight angle on the right. Scott appeared to power... McCormick into the attacking half. Plays it to Thurtell, his first touch, the sub. And now Wallace, good through ball, Dover! And it's just gone wide, waiting for the back of the net to ripple, but it could not sneak in. The aerial duel against Thurtell, and it falls to the feet of Piemonte. Counter-attack opportunity, Hatsumaratis is sprinting, onto the end of a bouncing ball, he peels away to the right. Stops, squares for Zorich. And now Bosniak getting forward, Zorich finds him, it's Dushan Bosniak! And it's just wide of the post. Oh, it bobbled and it rolled and it went agonisingly wide to the left. And that was nearly 3-1 and Ryan Scott gets the credit of the save because it's out for a corner.
Kirk goes into midfield. Ball over the top. Hatsumarata. Scott charging out. Gets a header on it. And now it falls to Zorich. He's going to volley with Scott off his line. And Webster's turn to play goalie. Volleys it up. And now held by the goalkeeper. Now Pilkington breaking wide to the left. Looking for Pachkovsky. Trying to get to the ball before the byline. High to the back post. Brought down by Dover. Into the penalty area once again. Thurtell with a header. Couldn't keep it down. Usually is. So Sean Lovemore, the Kiwi former youth international, comes on. Goes straight to the top of the attack here, and he's chasing after a back pass here. This could be the perfect introduction. It's Lovemore! And it's 3-1 to Oakley! And look at the Oakley bench. They should be celebrating. Gus Salakis and Contangalakis, a masterstroke. Sean Lovemore may well have put Oakley Cannons through to the grand final. Talk about an immediate impact from Sean Lovemore. And it comes high to the back post. Webster won the header against Topalovic. And now a volley deflected wide. It was Dover. And did it come off his own teammate? It did. Out for a goal kick. Intercepted. Taken away. Oakley Cannons on the verge of victory. And they are through. The Oakley Cannons progress to the grand final. South Melbourne at Lakeside Stadium awaits. 3-1 the final score. And the firepower of this Oakley team have shot the cannons into an NPL grand final.